This tutorial video will be showing you how to create and connect to a bot to Slack. We'll be using a template from our template library and then connecting up to Slack and then testing it. So let's get started. First things first, we are going to start connecting up our bot to the bot platform. So to do this, we're going to need three tabs open. First off, we've got the bot platform. You will need an account on the bot platform to start creating your bot. So if you do not have one, please reach out to us at hello at the bot platform.com. Next up, we will need the Slack API page open. This is where we create our apps in order to connect to the bot platform. You can see we have got a list of apps we've created before, but we'll get into that in more detail in a moment. Lastly, we have got the help doc open, which is how to create a Slack bot. This is a step-by-step -step guide to help you connect up your bot to Slack and also brand it. You can have this doc open in the background if you need to reference it at any point, but we, we will be going over these steps in this video so you can follow along in the video too. So let's get started. To start off, we are gonna head back to the bot platform um, in order to create a new bot. So this is your homepage on the bot platform. This is where all your bots live. Um, I've created bots in the past. These are all my bots I've created under launched bots, uh, but we want to create a new bot. So what we're going to do is click on this button up here and start our bot creating journey. You'll then be asked if you do have access to this, um, which platform you would like to launch your bot on. We also do bots for workplace and teams. Um, you can find out more about this on our website or our help docs. Uh, but for today, we are gonna be focusing on Slack. So let's click on that. Next up, you'll be taken to a template library. So the template library create, um, is, contains templates that we've created for you. So you can um, quickly and easily get started on certain use cases. So we've got bots such as staff onboarding, which successfully onboard staff and new hires. We've got a management coach, which improves management skills and performance. We've also got other use cases like help desk support and surveys and feedback. Um, you can read into these by clicking on the learn more buttons underneath each uh, template to find out more. Um, and for this demo, actually, we're gonna use a template um, we can create a bot from scratch, but we'll go into more detail about that at the end of the video because that will require a bit of prior planning. Um, and we just want to get our bot connected up really quickly. So I am going to choose the employee appreciation template for this demo. So I'm going to click on this panel here and I'll be asked what I want to name my bot. So you can name your bot anything. If you want to keep it simple, you can keep it as an employee appreciation, which I'll probably go uh, with. If you want to brand your bot, you're more than welcome to. Your staff might be more susceptible if a brand um, to use your bot. Sorry, if your uh, if your bot is branded in a certain way, so you might want to use a character or like an office dog to brand your bot. Um, it's totally up to you. Uh, branding is completely personal to your company, um, and you know your employees and your colleagues best. So, like I said, I'm just going to keep mine really simple and call it employee appreciation. Once I'm happy with that, I am gonna create my bot. You will then be taken to where your bot will live on the bot platform. So you can access features such as your messages, broadcasts, analytics, um, and anything else really. Uh, you can see all those features in your left-hand menu. Uh, we'll go over that in a bit more detail in a moment. Uh, we'll just focus on connecting up our bot for the time being. So you can probably notice there's a big orange banner at the top of the page here asking us to connect our bot to Slack. So we're going to do just that. and We're going to click on this button and then it will take us to a page where we will need to input a, an OAuth token, a Slack app ID and a signing secret. So in order to get those nuggets of information, we will need to go to the Slack API page, which is up here and start creating our app. So let's create a new app by clicking on this button here. And we are going to create our app from scratch. Um, we will need to name our app. I'm gonna call mine employee appreciation like I did in the platform. Um, please bear in mind that this is the app, this app name will be how it will show up in Slack. So it's important to get this one down. Um, and then you will select your workplace, your, which is the bot platform. I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna create my app by clicking on this button. Next up, we will need to add some scopes. So we're gonna go into this left-hand menu here and click on OAuth and permissions. We are gonna scroll until we see scopes, which is here, and then start adding our scopes. 
So we will need six of these. The first one is chat, right? The second one is instant message history. The third one is instant message, right? The fourth one is users read. The fifth one is users read email. And last we have got channels read. So um, you can also access information in the help doc so you know exactly what to um, input to your bot token scopes. So these scopes just pretty much govern what your app can access. So all these scopes are needed in order for your bot to work with all of our features on the bot platform. Great, so next up we are going to set up permissions. So we're gonna stay on the OAuth and permissions page and then scroll up until we see OAuth tokens for your workspace. So let's just scroll up here and we will see the section just here. So this token will be automatically generated um, and this is what we're going to put into uh, that field on the bot platform that we just saw earlier. Let me just quickly remind you, here it is. So let's click on the install to workspace button and then we'll be asked if we want to give employee appreciation uh, permission to access the bot platform. So I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna click allow and then it will take me back to the page where I have my shiny new auth token. So I'm gonna copy that and just put it over here. Great. So next up, let's enable messages. So we're gonna go over to the app home section, which is just here, and then scroll until we see show tabs, which is here. This is where we are going to enable, mes the, enable the messages tab, which is already enabled, thankfully. And then we are also going to tick the allow user to send slash commands and messages from the messages tab. So this is this one here and I'm going to tick that. Great. So next up, let's enable webhooks. So let's scroll up to the left hand menu and click on advanced subscriptions, which is here. Just going to toggle this here so it's on. And then we have got a request URL field and we are going to just go to our help doc here and scroll down to where we are at in our bot creating journey and just take this URL, copy and paste it into this field here. Brilliant. That should then be verified, which we can see here. Next up, we are gonna to subscribe to bot events, which is still in this event subscription section. So we can just see it here. Let's open up that drop down menu and we are going to add a two bot user event. Okay, so let's add our first bot user event by clicking this button here. And the first one would be message IM. So we've got it just here. So let's select that. And then next up, we have got app underscore home opened, which is just at the bottom here. So once I'm happy with that, I am going to click on this save changes button and that will successfully push our changes over. Next up, let's head to interactivity and shortcuts in our left hand menu, which is here. And we are going to click the interactivity toggle on. We will then need a request URL. And again, we are going to head on over to our help doc and scroll down to interactivity, interactivity and shortcuts and just copy this URL here. Take your URL and pop it in and then it should be verified once you click save changes. Fab. Next up, let's do some bot credentials. So we're going to navigate over to our basic information, which is just here. And then we will need to um, find our app credentials just by scrolling. And we will have um, our app ID and our signing secret, which we need in order to pop into the bot platform to connect up our bot. So let's just show our signing secret first and then put it over here and then we are going to need our app id which is just up here fab now we've completed all of our fields in our uh, bot platform 
uh, form. So what we can do is just start connecting up and then that will be whirring away in the background. And then once that's a success, we will have our bot connected up to Slack. Exciting. Whilst you're waiting for your bot to connect, you can work on branding your bot. So you can change the branding of your bot by heading back into the Slack API page, heading to basic information, and then scrolling down just past where we were with the tokens to display information. So you can update your app name here. Uh, you can see it already says employee appreciation here, but if you did want to change it, this is the way to do it. You can also add a short description. So I'm going to say like send your colleagues this. It's like a nice and short and snappy way to introduce your bot. And then you can add your app icon here. So I'm just going to click here and it will open up the drive. And I'm just going to click on this little image that I've pre-prepared, which is a nice little trophy. Brill. You can also change the background colors. If you wanted to do that, you can choose from this little color picker here. And then you can also add a longer description of what your app does. Um, I'm going to leave that for the sake of this demo. I don't want to take up too much time. But you, can, you can add a longer description so your colleagues know exactly what this bot is doing. I'm happy with my branding, so I'm just going to go over here and save my changes. Well, let's head on over to the bot platform again. So once the bot has been connected, it will take you back to the dashboard and you will see a banner at the top, which tells you that your bot has been successfully connected to Slack. You will also see your bot details. So this would include your bot name and a refresh bot name and logo um, button. So I'm actually going to click that because I have refreshed my logo. And now my fancy new trophy is going to be pulled through. To the right of this, we have got a bit more information. So we've got a link to your bot. So this is a direct link. So you can copy and paste that and send it to any user. And they will be able to access the bot by clicking on that link. You will also have a bot Slack app ID, which is what we took from uh, the API pages. You will also have your bot platform ID, which is really important if you ever run into issues with your bot. Um, if you contact us on Intercom, which you can see down here, we will ask you for your bot ID so we can easily find which bot you're referring to. You will also have your bot user ID. That is not that important. Um, these three are probably a bit more important to keep in mind. Fab. Okay, so let's head on over to messages. So this is the section where all the messages within your bot live. Um, so you'll probably remember that we chose a template from our template library. So all of our messages have been pre-populated. So we've got all the messages that make up our employee appreciation bot. So these include a message uh, such as the welcome message. This should be a part of all of your bots. This is a way you introduce users to your uh, bot. Um, give them an idea of what to expect from the bot and then have a little call to action uh, to get them into the main body of the bot. Um, you can find out more about how to build up these messages in our help center or on our YouTube. I'll just pop back into the message list now and I'll just talk over all of the other messages we've got in this bot. So we've got a uh, welcome to vote. So this is where you get started on voting. There's a few options uh, to help you with your voting form. So for example, this question asks where you're gonna vote from. And then if we go back to our messages again, we can see that you've got a few questions that ask you about the nomination and the employee you wanna nominate um, that because you appreciate them so much. So that is all of our messages in our bot. So what we're gonna do next is just preview our bot in Slack. So to do this, we are just gonna click this button up here. Once you click that button, it will open up the bot in Slack. So we can see it here. It will come up underneath your apps in your left-hand menu. So it won't come up in a channel, it will be an app. And then your welcome message will be sent through. As you can see it here, yeah, you've got a lovely image which draws attention to the conversation, um, your message, and then you've got your buttons. And then you can just start clicking through the chat and going through the employee appreciation flow. So I've gone through the flow already, and if you just go and click the buttons, you will be sent a message based on the button you clicked. So for example, when I clicked vote now, I got sent a message which asked me about which location I was uh, located in. And then I can go and give my the name of the person I'm nominating for my employee appreciation uh, nomination. And then it'll just go through and ask me some questions about my nominee. So that is pretty much the flow of your bot. Um, it's super quick as well. Um, so we built and connected a bot up in the space of five minutes, which is very, very, very decent. 
So that's how you build a Slack bot using the bot platform. We hope you found this tutorial really useful. If you need more help, then you can reach out to us uh, using Intercom, it, the little chat widget that you can find on the bottom right hand side of the platform, or you can use a help center or YouTube channel to find out more information on certain features. If you need a hand with extra training or more in-depth training, please reach out to your customer success manager. Otherwise, good luck and we look forward to seeing what you build.